Well, it certainly has been a while. But life happens and uh, other things get in the way. Um, this last time you saw it was a concept, really. Uh, Losi Mini 8, the nitro engine. Uh, the engine is the uh, .07, which is uh, really about the only nitro engine for this size vehicle that you can get anymore. Uh, running the Spectrum receiver because all of my other vehicles run on a Spectrum receiver, the DX5C. I'm waiting for a fuel tank. It's the only thing it doesn't have. I've I mocked one up and it ran just fine, and now we're waiting on that fuel tank. I just wanted to give a, a quick walk around here. This is a spur gear, which is actually a pinion from an Emax, and uh, this hastily assembled brake assembly is actually kind of ingenious, I think. So with the servo moving to the brake position, which is the arm moving forward, puts pressure here on the push rod with the fuel line tubing like normal, and this arm is hinged right about here. Uh, underneath this plate, which the other side of it moves against the, the spur gear and just scrapes and really, really digs in, honestly. It doesn't uh, doesn't allow for much rolling. So it's a pretty effective brake, actually, without having a, a proper brake pad set up. Um, the other direction, of course, is throttle. Uh, I had a problem because this engine is mounted facing backwards, so pointing towards the rear of the vehicle with the front, of course, being up here. Uh, had to get the push rod basically to uh, move in the same direction, but this angle, uh, a rod going straight to the carburetor, was too steep. So we just did a, a quick, uh, it's actually a cutoff servo horn that hinges here, and movement from the servo uh, equates into the same directional movement on the carburetor. A um, little spring added to the carburetor from the engine cooling head to keep the carburetor closed. But, uh, it's all there, and it does run. Uh, I haven't been able to drive it yet, but everything is assembled. This whole uh, top plate piece was uh, cut out of a sheet that used to be a chassis for a 10th scale two-wheel drive buggy that we rent here at my store, so we have quite a few of those broken laying around. That's where that came from. Um, hopefully we'll get something up and running next time I post a video. Uh, just a, a quick comparison, this is the Mini 8 uh, Losi, I consider it 1 14th scale, this is the original body just to show you that it actually is the right chassis, of course I won't be using this because it doesn't even come close to fitting now with 10th scale servos, but uh, size comparison wise, this is the HSP Thunderfire, which is actually is the same fuel tank that I'm going to be using um, with the same exact engine that's already on there, just a different color in that guy's head, you'll notice there exactly the same size, uh, almost exact measurement wise. So I don't know why Losi considers there's 14th scale when it measures up perfectly to a otherwise 16th scale. And on top of that, this is an electric dromeda, which is considered 18th scale. So at this point, I think everyone's just kind of making fun of us. Uh, they're, they're all essentially the same size vehicle with a 18th, 16th, and 14th scale. Uh, respectively, but really they're, they're all about the same size. So we'll get that fuel tank and we'll get another video posted and uh, hopefully next time you see it, it'll be driving.